Filet Big mignon. Filet mignon. Oh man. Delicious. What's up everyone, this is David Hoffman from David's Binia coming at you from Bento Gonzales wine area in Brazil. Bento Gonzales, you're not in Spain or even in Mexico, not Gonzales, Gonzales. Gonzales. Let's what, do it. What are we doing today? Whoa, man, we're gonna start lunch here at the Vinícola Casa Postal Bistro. Uh, it's a local restaurant, recommended by the locals. Uh, I've heard, uh, besides they cook an amazing food, they produce their own wine here. So okay. it's kind of like a small vineyard. So, so we'll be able... So it's a vineyard slash bistro. And then after this, we're gonna explore another vineyard, possibly yeah. two. Uh, we're gonna go around the area. If you guys didn't know, this area was colonized by Italians back exactly. in like the 1900s. Yes, man, have you seen some pictures of this place? I no. think they offer like some really nice uh, French rack. It's oh. kind of like lamb chops, right? Ooh, yeah. can't wait. Some risotto, some, you know, Italian. Oh, fome. Italian cuisine, muita fome, muita fome, muita fome means I'm hungry. Oh, fome. Estou com fome. Oh, Let's go. go. Let's go. Let's go. Bom dia, tudo bem? Tudo bom? So right here we have their shop. Right when you enter, they have their shop. Rosa Vento, Costa Postal, Sauvignon Blanc. What else they got? This is so good. Cabernet Sauvignon, Merlot, never ending vino, vino. Muito bom. Obrigado. All right, we're gonna go in the back. We're gonna have some food now. Time to eat. Where'd you guys go? She's recommending uh, wine sparkling brut. Brut. Perfect. What's yeah, the, for lunch we're it? having, they only have uh, three options. One is the uh, entrecote, the ribs filet, salmon, and French rack, which is the lamb, right? So this is their local cheese. Local cheese. Oh my god. Mm. It's like Swiss cheese. May I have one tiny piece? One okay. tiny piece. Delicious. Like you I can have it. Eso. In the kitchen we're making some lamb chops, some risotto. Some pão de queijo. This is pão de queijo, no? É, é um pãozinho, né? Um pãozinho. É. So, a very small pão de queijo. Que a gente chama de colombinas. Como? Chamamos de colombinas. Colombinas, é, ok. É. Capito, é. ok. É. Alecrim na dona Merenê. É. Pão de queijo. Risotto with Cabernet Sauvignon and some lamb chops. So risotto with cheese, mint. It's <laughs> not Pesto. All right, this is pesto, my favorite. No, oh, pesto Brazilian style. Obrigado. É artesanal, We got lamb chops. We have beef, salmon, and pasta and risotto. Exactly. These are the side waters, right? And then from 12 to 15 dollars, like included, and salad, good deal. Good deal. Good deal, it's a local restaurant. I would say kind of like slow food, right? Slow food, slow, slow kitchen. Food. And, and comfort food. Yeah. Yeah. They also have wine, obviously, that are winery. Yeah. So right below their house, which is the basement, and then in a the very few minutes after we eat, they're gonna show like their new project. Oh wow. Well. Amazing. It's gonna be a hotel. I can't wait. Yes, me too. Italia no Brasil. Mocha. Okay my friends, we have beef chop with spaghetti. We have lamb chop with risotto, salmon, risotto, and we have these like tiny pound de cajo. It's pound de cajo, right? Uh it's not a pound de cajo, it's just different bread. Mmm. Different. Very dense, nice flavor. Mm. The deal, the best. This is bruci, basically they're spumante, right? 
their sparkling wine. A bomb, a bomb? <laughs> Chardonnay. Mm. It's lighter. Feels very similar to Rebecca Prosecco. Bubbly, a little fruity, not so dry. I mean, it's like halfway. Pretty good. I mean, this topped with some lamb chops. My favorite thing ever are lamb chops. Mm. And the fat along here on the rib. Mmm. So juicy. Wow. Can't wait to try this risotto. Italy and Brazil. Oh my god. Mm-hmm. Whoa, so creamy. Eat it. Eat it, eat it. Mm. It's okay, man. Eat it. I'm gonna eat it. Well, it's crazy. It's crazy good. Mm. One more of these. Mm-hmm. Mm. Muy bueno. So juicy. Lots of fat. Lots of flesh. Mm-hmm. Mm. What? Now we have some spaghetti. The spaghetti is like, whoa. Super thin. So in terms of spaghetti, it's thin, oily, and I think there's some herbs in here. Mm-hmm. Mm. Dude, just like Italy. Mm-hmm. This is like a nice pesto, but you mix it with the entrecot, it gives you a whole different world. The taste is so unique, so fresh. Mm-hmm. Nice spaghetti. Straight back to Italy. The molto bomb, no? I'm in love with the food. Risotto really good. Cabernet Sauvignon with uh, mint, mint leaf. Mm -hmm. Delicious. The lamb chops was amazing. Entrecot. Mm -hmm. Favor. Delicious. I have to admit the entrecot is better than the lamb chops. I think. Today, yes. Mm -hmm. Obrigado. Obrigado, Ita. Muito bom. Obrigada. Muito bom. Muito bom. Obrigado. Você gostou? Sim, sim. They're too nice. The food is delicious. Now we're going down and we're going to go see the winery. Now that we're done with lunch, uh, Berenice's son is going to take us to, the, to uh, their winery, which is in the basement, man, right below the restaurant. So here he's saying like uh, they produce around 16,000 bottles. So it's like four times less than Roberto on the other vinery. And I'm just asking him like what's the minimal to become big. Seven kinds, three sparkling and four wines. That's probably like red and, and white. Merlot Cabernet Franc. Cabernet Franc. Mmm. Oh, it's delicious. Wow, what a good wine. 2020, so this, this is a young wine. You can taste it, the fruitiness. Oh, what the bone. Like this is right now, it's at 1500, let's say 1750 liters. I love this smell, man. Oh, it's so good. Delicious. <sighs> Feeling better now. And now we're entering the cellar, right next door. So you have wines over here, wines over here. 2005. 2005? And Charlotte. So this wine has been here 15 years, since 2005, only like, I'd say like 40. 30, 30, 30, only 30 left. All right, let's see where it all started. All right, so this is the beginning of their hotel. Look at this. They have four huge barrels here. Each one is a room, right? Over there they have two massive ones. That's more family suites. Huge. So they're cutting it open, right? This one they're gonna cut it open eventually. But just like, this is crazy. I've never seen like a, like a barrel hotel like this. Like a, you know, a wine hotel with this concept. So four rooms, two family rooms, and right in the middle, they're gonna have a fire. So you're gonna sit right here in the freezing winter, have your wine, and chill. It's amazing. It really is something special. 
Uh, this is something unique, you know? Uh, everywhere you go in the world, you're gonna find stuff you can do like this. But, when you come across something like this, you put it on your bucket list, and you return, you come back. For me, unfortunately it's not open yet, because if not, I would stay here for the night. This is beautiful. Hey, this is amazing. We came back up here to the cellar area. This is a tap room. This is where you try the wine. And here's Spumante. Spumante. It's a Sauvignon Blanc, a Vino. Vino. Sauvignon Blanc. Yes. Cosa postal. Mmm. Oh, it's light. It's sweet. Mmm. Un po' un po' secado. No? Like seco. A Cabernet Sauvignon right here. Mm. Oh, it's amazing. It's so different when you try wines from the vineyard. Cabernet Franc Amarillo, 2018. Very similar to the one downstairs, but the one downstairs is 2019, no? Mm. Oh, this one's way better than the last one. Super delicious, juicy. It's like a fruit drink, right? Very fruity. Mmm. This is extra brut. Extra brut. Chardonnay, Pinot Noir, Chardonnay. This one is a little more dry. This is more sweet. Seco. Seco. Troppo seco, queste. Mmm, it's perfect. Per me, più seco. Yeah, always like more uh, dry. And this one's way more sweet. My friend's telling me it's not like super sweet, but it's definitely a sweeter champagne. It's enjoyable. It's definitely the one you don't want to have before a hangover. This one, ma senza azúcar, meno azúcar, meno próximo giorno. Okay. <laughs> and this is their Moscatel. Look at this. Spumante, but super clear. Like, look at that. White, clear, crystal clear. Oh, so sweet. Mmm. It's super sweet. Oh, wow. It's amazing. It's bubbly. Fantastic. They have seven different wines. Three are Spumante, so sparkling wines. Amazing. And they have four regular wines. I mean, just wines, not sparkling, right? And this one is the Merlot. Amazing. Let's try it. Mmm. Oh, wow. So flavorful. Mmm. See, molto buono questo. Fantastic. I think for me, the best is the Moscatel. But that's me because I like dolce, I like sweet wines. Sweet wines are phenomenal. If you don't know about that, I mean, just dive into it, look it up. Uh, sweet wines are taking over the world. And yeah, I mean, this is a great place to try, you know, have lunch and then come here and try their wines. So 310 for the food, the wine tasting, and I bought a Moscato for my dad. My dad loves wine. Thank you. Boof! Moscato! Valeu, abraço, Un abraço! It's wet! Woo! Yeah, we're going to a place now where uh, to try a uh, local dish. It's actually a dessert. I don't know how do you, do you guys call it in English panettone. The Italian, uh, it's kind of like a cake with some crystal uh, fruits. How do you call it? I think in Italian it's panettone, right? Panettone. Pana, panettone. Panettone in English? Yeah. Okay, so it, it's kind of like panettone, but not tall as panettone, right? So it's kind of like a cake. How far? Uh, almost 30 minutes. So everything here is far. Right now it's raining like crazy. Um, luckily for us, it's on the way back, so we don't have to backtrack, right? Uh, yeah, I mean, this is how it is, right? It's it's summer, but there's rain. You can't expect it. I mean, like it's like a mix. Today we saw it was gonna rain all day, and we got here and it was perfect. And then now it's raining like crazy. Heading to Caxias do Sul. Caxias do Sul. Yeah. This road is rocky. It is. It's rainy. Dangerous. You need to go slow. Slowly. Yeah, it's rainy. So we got here the big. Yeah, yeah, man, it's kind of like uh, different types of uh, panettone uh, called cuca, different flavors. 
So it's kind of like a cake full of flavor, full of feelings. Which one's the best? Yeah, I mean, they look amazing. This is like a strawberry cheesecake type of thing. Kind of. This is so yeah, good. Yeah, but they yes. have banana, they have strawberry, they have... Wow, on both. Uh, different types of berry, you know. They also have lots and lots of wine. They have... Oh, this looks so good. Look at this. Cachaca, but like different styles, different flavors. So many, wow, never ending here. Look, they also have some grape juice, grape juice all day, jam. Oh, it's cool. Tem um chocolate branco. Ok. Eu tenho curaçu. Ok. Cupuaçu. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Cappuccino. Cappuccino. Fruta vermelha. It's like coffee liquor. Say bonum. Mm. This is like almost like a sweet sweet port. Port wine. Mm. Frutas vermelhas. All different uh, berries. Oh my god, it's like cherries. Straight cherries. Mm. Laranja. Laranja. É muito bom. All right, this is orange liquor. Let's try it. Oh, wow. Mm. It's actually like super sugary. It's good, but a little too much for me. Ooh, crazy. Next one is liqueur fino. I mean, they have like six of them here. I must try like one more. That's it. Sweet, but very thick, like very syrupy. Yeah, this is like a panettone, uh, great flavor. It came, it came like really hot, so it's kind of like a cake, but it's not a cake. I would say it's kind of like a very wet, I mean bread. And that's it, blueberry cake. But this one's great. Mmm, great. This is great. Oh, it's amazing. Mm. Very different. Mm -hmm. so it's grapes. It's like a cake, but it's more like a crumbly cake. There's so many grapes in here. Crunchy, but at the same time, very fluffy, right? Just dive in. So good. Getting, getting ready for a next cheese car wish. No. No. Yo, yo. Vem em Caxias do Sul e venha comer o verdadeiro X gaúcho. Amazing. This is the best grape cake of all time. It's ridiculous. Mm. So a lot left. I'm done. Perto já sabe daqui, ó. É? É. Obrigado. Seriado de finados. Valeu. Obrigado. 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 It's raining. It's beautiful. Wow. This is incredible. What a different land. What a different experience. Yeah, we're going out to a town called Caxias do Sul. It's a well known for like they they claim they have the best she's gaúcho in I would say in Brazil or in Rio Grande do Sul state. So the, the this town this town that we're heading to. We're in Bento Gonçalves heading to Caxias do Sul. And that's like a 30 minute drive north into the wilderness. I mean, crazy. We're driving up there for that one dish. Exactly. So we're losing an hour plus to go up there. I don't know, I don't know if you're losing, man. It depends on your point of view, right? But we have to backtrack. <laughs> yeah, but I'm driving, you sleep. Man, we are in Caxias do Sul. We just got into the place called She's the gringa. Gonna, gonna have a, like a huge monster now. A monster sandwich? Yeah, are you ready? I'm ready. Let's go. I'm ready. I'm hungry. Whoa, this is a 30 minute drive north. It's worth it, right? I hope so, but this is a huge city, bro. Absolutely. It's crazy. Let's rock and roll. Good night. Good night. To Ben. To Ben. Okay, we're in the back of which restaurant? I don't even know where we're at. Yeah, this is called Shizda Gringa. Gringa means uh, foreigner, right? 
Oh yeah. No, it means it means American. It means the green go, green go. It means tourist, <laughs> right? It means you're not from here, right? The opposite of local. Okay, okay. Uh, man, this is like one of the main places to have uh, shizka wushu. Okay. We had before, so I, 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 I believe you, you're already being very experienced, right, about this sandwich. I mean, I'm excited. It's chicken, chicken heart, right? Chick uh, we're gonna have the filet mignon. All right, perfect. Filet mignon. Wow. Okay, are you ready? I'm ready. So it's put like everything on it. Ham, cheese, egg, bacon. Yeah. Chicken house, chicken. This is another diner style restaurant. Just say he's got ucho, so like cheeseburger, cheese with chicken hearts. I mean, it's a mix of things, but it's super delicious, super big sandwich. Oh, I can't wait. And they put it on the presser. Mm, it's so good on the presser. The best is squeezing it and let the cheese ooze out. So we're having a uh, Sage Gaucho in Witch, Witchtown. Cachez de Sul. Cachez de Sul. Cachez de Sul. I don't even know where we are. It's awesome. Yeah, it's like a lovely town near Bento Gonçalves where we were. Wow, look at this. Amazing, this is huh? crazy. Let's put it right here. Filet mignon. Filet mignon. Oh, man. Delicious. Crazy good. Mm hmm. Mm. Filet mignon, yes. lettuce, carrots, tomato, yes. pretty, pois, egg, eggs, cheese, uh, green pea, corn, ham. It's gonna be better. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's like seven dollars and fifty for this monster. If you eat by yourself, it's gonna be like a, a meal, full meal. Good, mm -hmm. huh? Mm. You just so dip it right, like everything fresh. You can tell, like using really good ingredients, right? Mm -hmm. The bread. Yeah, it's not that big. Think okay size. Mm -hmm. It's not a monster. Not a monster. We obviously split it in half. Yeah. But yeah, this is good. This is good stuff. Delicious. Mm. Got some French fries as well, like uh, potato stick. Delicious. And doing it with filet mignon is so different from chicken hearts. Yes. That feels more gamey. This is a lot easier. Yes. You know? Yes. This is more of a, a steak burger. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So good. No. It's too good. Game over. Game over. <laughs> My friends, we had an amazing lunch. Casa Postal. We had delicious food. Then we went down, we tried some wines downstairs. Incredible. Then went over and tried the the like Great cake, right? Yeah, that's their main thing, right, man? It's like one of the main dishes of Rio Grande do Sul State. So I believe when you're in this state, you must try. And then we came over here to have this cheese gaúcho. We're in different town, right? We were in Bento Gonçalves, and now we are here in Caxias do Sul. To be honest, I don't even know where we are. Well, we're just 30 <laughs> minutes uh, away driving from Bento Gonçalves, and why not come, come here and, you know. Well, guys, I hope you love this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Then you comment below, subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. I'll see you next travel food adventure in Brazil, my friend. Well, I've been eating it all and you're barely eating it. Yeah, I've been talking too much.